mill Graves here. A little bit more single target damage oh. focused. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. How could we forget Trimby Soraka? That's something that was so pivotal in their finals against G2. And Kalista Soraka is what they track of in that matchup is when... Hang on a second. Malrang just EQ'd, so they know it's watered there. Waiting Malrang for the cooldown. is going to wait for the EQ. This could be dangerous. Kati might actually die to this gank. Levi is hovering around, covering the push out. And it's so hard now. The red buff there. He's flashing out to save the Malrang. Wait, flashing in the waiting arms, they're gonna burst him down, it's gonna be a quick kill, but Levi now gonna look to respond with his own. Flash out from Larson, the creep's gonna body block any further follow-up. The struggle of the Graves, he wants to auto the Ori, but he can't get through the creeps, Levi forced away. Oh, no! We're waiting for the cooldowns now, bot lane very diveable here, they have the heal. Execution is gonna be everything, a bit of a slow coming in, comp tanking a little bit of damage here, now the flag, the drag, oh! and another one, comp gets the kill! Oh, and this damage to land, and Levi flashes forwards to try to kill Larson, so Larson can match the flash. Marang has lethal tempo, so watch the attack speed here when it's fully stacked up. <laughs> and now oh, he's looking he's going again. back, rinse and repeat, baby. Rogue oh, are boy. not stopping. Trimby is here, too. Oh, boy. Soraka wants some KP. She's got to get it. Rogue 3-0 on the board. Oh, I feel... It's because of the push, so the second this dragon dies, he can move up to Krux. He can look for something towards the top with Ki Kiaia being level 6. I don't know if they have the damage to kill Odoamne, and the red buff is spawning soon, so maybe he wants to hang around here with the crab as well. Again? The price he had to pay was the Raptors and the Krugs. Knock up, uh -oh. Odoamne now stepping forward. Alti now coming back in. Odo caught out here. Levi on the way back up. Smoke screen going down. Odoamne flashing out to safety. Should be just fine. No, Levi trying to finish the job. They do take him down. Tax sweep to grab the kill. But damn, it's about just Levi. Wherever Rogue's pressuring, it looks like he wants to go to the opposite side and look to mismatch for camps. They're to pressure Larson here a bit. Backing off. Now rang in the area. Good burst damage, Mal Oh, going in, going for the combo ball on top. Can they get it? Oh, one hit back. That's the combo, the ball delivery system. And he flashed as well. So Rogue get everything they Two want. Two plates by themselves. Larson has flash. He's in trouble, though. Levi does have flash of his own. Bottom. Moving out. Can't start to walk down to the rest of his team. Tom catching the way up, maybe hoping to punish, but Maorang in the area. Got to stop anything else from happening, and they're grabbing bottom tower at the same time. Massive lead for Rogue. Yeah, this is the thing. It's too hard. Oh, they're all coming. Look at the bottom lane as well. Kalista Soraka rotating through mid lane right now. They're going to try and catch him. Larson. Flash out to safety. Oda Wamnane already stop any further follow-up. They're going to get knocked up as well. They're trying to burn through the time catch as quickly as they can, but the dragon has... Otherwise, Rogue constantly have the early move. And you see Mauron come over, drop the Rift Hilt in mid just to finish that up. You Tom, take away those defenses. Oh, for now the Tom catch on the run has already used the Devour style, forced to back away. Oda Wamne, though, wants to keep the fight going. He knows he can tank this tower forever. Here comes Maorang as well. They're looking to get everything that they possibly can. Style getting cut down. Tower next in the sights of Rogue. Kiai looking for the cross map on the bot tier one, but Rogue just took mid tower, ran towards top. Trimby and Maorang on the way to help out Comp. Didn't even have to use a Soraka ult there in a 1v2. Comp felt really confident to take that fight. Style saves his flash. He knew he was going to die regardless. There was a Jarvan over the wall, and that's all three outers down. Rogue off to a big red buff. I think they're just going to have to call this one and give it as well. Well played. Ultimately, Maorang making the best out of a bad situation. Odo hiding the bush. Away. Hookshot is going to be everything here. If he can get the buffer, maybe he can make his way out. Maorang waiting patiently, though. Looking to lock him down, taking his time, just walking up, fishing for the autos. Levi in the area, though, could be big. Nice oh. dodge comes through here. They can try to turn this into 2v2. Levi, so much money in his back pocket. No flash left for Maorang. The ulti will not be enough. Beautiful turn. Gonna make the transition over. They're actually clearing out all the vision around Baron during this little window, too. And just, just look at the levels. You know, you're gonna have to buff the rest of the game. There's no real Baron threats from Gamma either. I think they have enough vision here. Shallow vision on Rogue side to spot out what they're up to. And once so he knows where Malrein is, so he can actually step up and hit these towers. The only reason he can do it now is because Levi's there. Their timing to finally go for the fight, and after that evade, they put a stop to the first attempt at Dragon's Soul for Rogue. How much time do they have? Observer's teasing us, 4k getting lower. Levi over the wall, oh, maybe 3k 50, getting lower. Oh, they're gonna get oh, it! Oh, oh, oh. they find it! Oh, Wamnay now looking to turn the fight, but here comes the victor, and they're all trapped! They're all caught in the mix of an absolute slaughter! This victor is killing it! I'm gonna fight this dragon. We fought you the first time around, you had no flashes. That's why we forced Baron. But then we lost our summoners, and Larson comp, no flashes against this threat of the no tower either. If they can get this pick, Dragon's There's no way they can get away from the There's just too much CZ. A clean flash trying to turn, trying to get at least one back in response. Rogue pulling everything out to take this bot side without being spotted. Really good heads up play before the Dragon spawn. We thought they would give it up and just buy more time for themselves. But now they have the soul and they traded it for the tier two. So well done there, Rogue. Levi's just getting midway. Kathy's facing. Are they giving this? I don't think he's going to be in time to smite this. 
Lower and lower. Rogue, are they going to burn? Are they going to turn? What is the call going to be? It's a little bit split here at the moment. They do manage to grab it. Levi coming in over the wall. Gam, they know that they have to take this fight. Oduwame fishing for the angle. He's going to knock up two. Tom Ketch locked down. Will devour the bars, but off to the side. The Camille getting shredded. She goes gold and Levi in the backside with the Oriana, but she's so damn strong. Camille trying to get out to safety. Oh, no, 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 no. Disaster for Gam. Sombrero on the shockwave. Does not matter. It's a double for Larson. Rogue taking the fight, taking the ace. It's on the window to start off the Baron. They got it before Levi could arrive. Gam were a little bit split up trying to dive. Malrag and Odo buying time, but it's the carries of Rogue that pull through. The double threat comm stands tall, and Rogue, it looks like they're going to pick up this game. At the end of the day, Rogue, Gam did so much work to hold them, to stop them from getting anything else in the match, but it was not enough. They stole one Baron. Rogue would not let it be two. Rogue moving up to 2-0 in the group. Eventually. Oh. As it looks like they're playing for a bit of fun. They're playing for a little bit of disrespect, and that's the 2-0 for Rogue. I think the turning point for this game was that Hextech Soul. He's played so many supports in the LCK, but there's the Renata. I think taking away the Nautilus makes the Renata's lane phase a little bit easier. I was surprised they didn't pick it on four, but it makes sense because I think then 100 Thieves will take away Aphelios. Yeah, look how much field without a fight. Both teams playing toward their uh, relative strong side of the map. Someday doing so much in the individual 1v1 to build the but she has the ult. She can match the pace of Chovy if she wants to. Yeah, I think that shot calling here for 100 Thieves is look for Ruler. No summer spell. Damage follow up. Oh, the ulti. Taking it out. First blood now coming through. Who's going to be in trouble? Does still have the flash from earlier. He's going to hold on to a walk away. See if they can execute it. Level 9. Someday. Q cooldown going to be so low. Closer can he get him? Knock back to the wall. Doran still standing for now. Going to try to hook shot wall dive back out of safety. Turn the play. Who he's standing. Looking to tank the tower up. Look, trying to burn him down. There is no way out. There is no escape. Pina hitting a target, but not the one tanking the tower. Show me prize in this top tier one. They'll get this one first. You're always faced with a decision. Try and stem the bleeding on the losing. It's going to be more and more concerning the later we get into the game. An ocean, a cloud. We'll see what the rift is going to be now. Mountain. Not the cross map. They're putting all their resources topside. All their vision top side for this objective and for someday to keep this push. They need some control. Looks like they'll go through mid at the moment. There's a TP behind in their jungle. They're going to get sandwiched here into Dora and let's Chobi. see if they can find the engage. Abadage all on his lone. Some that pillar doing so much work, but they don't have the follow-up damage quite yet. FBI coming over the wall. Doran on the backside immediately going to go in. Peanut there as well. It's so hard now for them to do anything. Genji looking for the collapse. Someday finally coming into the fight. Closer knocking at least one back. That's the hostile takeover. Someday forced the poke damage laid down there. Only one and a half items, so it might not have been that big. Zenith Blade also not going to connect. Chovy now fishing. Oh, oh, no. It's clean. Maybe they could turn oh, it. Oh, it's huge for 100 Thieves. Those are not chasing Chovy out of the fight. 100 Thieves looking to collapse. Someday, eyes on Peanut. Staying focused on the objective ahead of them. Is this enough for 100 Thieves to take the dragon? Great stop push there by Abadaga. They're in a 4v5, and Doran's been pushed out by Someday. I think this will net them the dragon as Ruler goes up toward that top side, takes the base. They've slowed down the dragon stacking. That's the first one. Team 500 Thieves, what is Genji done here? They're looking for something. K. Getting lower and lower. Ruler waiting. Can he make his way into this fight? Chovy still waiting over the wall. Doran now going in. They're looking to collapse. Abadaga doesn't have the stopwatch anymore. Fight one with 100 Thieves. Fight two someday. Can he be the difference maker? Posturing. Seven oh, fours on the dark. Oh, Big Peanut damage. Dogs. Can they get the dragon? Oh, no! Peanut! Taking the steal. Finding the third Drake. Someday running for the hills. 100 Thieves. Round one win their favor. But round two, it's all Gen G. Oh, Peanut with 57 HP left on the dragon. He I don't know, man. Peanut, he dodges out the Poppy ultimate with the W move speed there, then gets in just in time. So clutch there. Gen G. They end up still getting the dragon and finishing off the mid turret in the aftermath. Oh. Here's the play for 100 Thieves, though, trying to pick Chovy off. TP, they need to take the crown off him as quickly as possible. And now going to get pushed back. Chovy can still glide out of safety if he has the mana. Flash glide out, clean escape. But Peanut on the backside already focused on Abadaga. Will get knocked back. Another TP coming in. Gen G really looking to force the issue. The courtesy of the Azir Tower. They want to finish the job. They know Abadaga is so incredibly low. He doesn't have any defensive tools left. Eyes on the prize. Someday maybe he can try to get something back in exchange. They take down Abadaga. Meanwhile, Peanut set to fall. Peanut still holding on for now. The top a little bit extra. Yeah. Doran still standing. Someday wants to turn it. It's a fight on two fronts. Doran still standing strong. Someday getting one. Now he looks to collapse. Red, white, for ruler, but no mana to follow up. He needs to keep the chakras up. He needs to keep the stacks. Someday versus the world. Can he do it? It's big. It's massive. Is it enough? Peanut still standing. Ruler surely will fall. Ruler fighting the advantage. Gen G running. Someday the soul.
can't afford to send anyone up there because they want to contest this dragon. They want all members down here and they need Sunday to get the bot push so he can't match Chovy. Chovy's going to take a base. He has the TP. Peanuts hovering on the top side. This mid wave will be really important. There's the TP from Chovy. Are they looking for a fight here or are they looking for the Baron to push Hunter Thieves out? Doran TP coming in. Chovy TP to follow back in the mid lane for now. Felio still standing strong. Who he now going to be in trouble getting burned down before the fight even starts off. Doran to the backside. Sunday hasn't even gotten involved yet. Peanut now walking forward. MF fault. Not going to have a lot of effect. And Chovy looking for the scoop, but he whips. Someday, maybe this is his opportunity. Maybe he can turn this one back. Big damage coming in from the Aatrox. Doran, as of now, untouched. Ruler in a 1v2, still coming out on top. Gen G, the last fights were so close, but they are slaughtering 100 thieves in their own jungle. FBI running for the hills. He gets the blast cone out, but Doran, a hook shot, a wall dive, a oh. flash to follow, and a fancy finish. Really clean mechanics there for the execution. Onto FBI repositioning the Camille hook shot. First, but they were so split. Yeah, a really good teleport from Gen G to find them while they're split up. And then the Leona turning in, focusing it down. Once you get that extra. So hard for him to step up, and even if he does, the Trundle Pillar can stop his ult. Abedage. Kobe fishing. Now gonna knock him down. Easy pick. We need the rest of the team running. Maybe that's enough for them now to start Baron. All it takes is little moments, little indecisions, little mistakes getting caught out there. FBI has to be careful about walking forward. Ruler has the perfect guns to lock him down. I think Genji are a bit reserved about Baron because of Doran's TP timer and someday having it. So there is seven seconds on Abadage. Got a YOLO in. in. Can he get the steal? As Vision. Closer, can you this is going to be close. It? Trying to knock them back. He has to get in the pit if he wants to stop it from releasing. Genji instantly, though, focusing on the fight. Burning down someday. The major carry taken down. FBI's ult is not effective. 100 Thieves now running. If they take down Huhi, they can just start the objective again. Incredible patience from Genji. Not willing to risk the flip. Instead, setting their eyes on the prize. Taking down 100 Thieves Very in the slim, fight. but... <laughs> Doran now chasing. He's no ult. They've spotted him out. Run, little poppy, run. He's trying to make it out. The flash out. He's speeding. Zoom, little poppy, zoom. Yeah, he manages to get out. The problem he has there is he has no blue orbs from his team. He doesn't have a pink, so he wouldn't even be able to see the Baron health bar. It would be one in a million to just flash over there and steal it at the right time. So, Genji, you Doran stepping in. Won't overcommit. A lot of tension here. Should be an easy siege for Genji, but maybe 100 Thieves can find a way to attack this. Peanut taking a little bit of a poke. Ulti forced out. Ult in closer. Chovy already taking down one tower. One inhibitor going to fall. A second to follow. 100 Thieves running out of time to make a play. It's Huhi on the flank. Will it be enough? Chosen for the crowd still up. Closer missing completely. Doran now stepping forward. Someday the ultimate coming out. The hostile takeover. FBI not hitting anybody with the ultimate. Chovy getting knocked back into it. Might be enough. They find it. Someday getting the reset on one at least. Chovy potentially in trouble. But someday no. They just got nothing left. Ruler will recover. Shot. Ruler is going to get taken down. Bailout should not be enough. But Gen G looking for the close here. Someday too much pressure for one man to handle. But maybe just maybe. Stepping up, Q1, nope, nope, not enough. Gen G, decisive in the last few exchanges, will take down 100 Thieves. And the LCK champions. You who plays this champion is wonder. <laughs> this is going to be an all out brawl on the top side. What I will say is, Flandre has played six Gragas games in summer, he's won all of them. His, his KDA help his team out and then TP back top. Fennec, this could backfire very quickly. Fight it. Will they uh, stop the Gragas? Going in. He's another one so incredibly strong. He's been pulled back to the team. Exhaust already going down. One Yumi spell taken out, but upset forced to cleanse away. In the meantime, big <gasps> damage. Right right there for the boomerang. Black Viper for his play. Massive for the side of EDG. Hillsang ignited. Now JJ keeping him going the in. The extra movement speed. He can flash out to save his IQ. Disaster. The flash isn't up just yet. Spell shield available, stepping forward. Spell shield already gone, waiting it out. Now gonna knock him back in. The handshake is gonna be clean enough. Viper will not be able to cut him down. Big damage now, they're responding back. Hillisang was not ready for Gigi there. The flash in the E. Oh my god, EDG pot side is slaughtering Fnatic. JJ Reed just comes to oversee the take of the dragon and Fnatic, despite the early kills there on the EDG bottom lane, pick up dragon. He's coming back down, but. This EDG bottom side of the map has been so powerful, even really? if you bring everybody Mortal This man needs to make his way out. He's kicked back. Killisang now running for his life. He's going to get the bailout. He's going to walk away for a few extra seconds, but Viper on a rampage. Oh, why go down there? Scout, though, has no flash. Out, knocked up. Now going in. Humanoid throwing down the ultimate. Can they burn through the victor quickly enough? Yes, they can. Razork on the way as well. Fnatic responding in kind. Fnatic trading there. Hilly bottom just... side there for Victor, but quite nice to get the Herald and a zoning. Scout no TP. They're gonna give this one up. Flandre invests the ult to clear out the wave. Doesn't have much mana to stick around. Has the TP if he wants to refresh that mana bar. Now JJ is threatening mid. Upset, no flash. Could get caught out here, but they're looking 
for Flandre. Wonder cancels his base. Humano doesn't get the shuffle. I wonder what will happen mid though because JJ is looking. No Sang waiting. Handshake could be big here. JJ level nine. No Sang only level seven. They're gonna shred through this one so quickly. Sivir just deleting that mid wave and now pressuring out the tower. It's just so hard for Fnatic to trade evenly yep. with EDG. Yeah, the pushing power of this Sivir being so fed early. It's two towers picked up for EDG and only one here for Fnatic as they pick it up. Humanoid though wants more. Flandre has no mana. Just TP. I wonder if he has to just TP out here and just suck it up. It looks like he's going to run around. He might Meanwhile, have to... on the bottom side of the map, Razork running. Snare knock away, going to connect. He's going to have to flash out to safety. Flandre I'll out. Try to get these creeps in, tried to threaten the tower, so EDG have to respond. Flandre on the side. Humo dashes forward to chunk out Viper. Mako on the Yumi will have the sustain. Here comes your horn. Oh, fishing for Scout, trying to take down the victor before the fight even starts. Now looking to knock back the rest of the team, but Razork is interrupted on the poppy charge. Scout still able to lay down the ultimate. Flandre off to the side, could just be the next on the list. Hillisang getting thrown in the bailout, now coming out, but he will not survive. Flandre getting cut down as well. Running, he's so damn tanky, but he will still drop. Fnatic now turning back onto the dragon. Huge pick for Fnatic. They take down Scout, no Azir. Two person disadvantage for EDG. Taking around, wonder if I can go. Can I get the shutdown on the Viper? This could be everything. Razor now gonna come back. Viper still standing. The damage from the Sever. They will be the ones in the end to claim the prize. Yeah, Dragon didn't fall off that fight. It's gonna be a one for one. So I could throw the barrel here onto Humanoid. Needs to be careful. Wonder will check the push. Or will he? Flandre. Body slam. Trading poke here. Flandre so incredibly tanky. Knockback. Wonder now isolated. Dashing back out to safety. Unstoppable for at least a brief moment. He knows he needs to ult. Knockback. Huge from Razor. Maybe now they can turn. Yumi strapped to the back of Flandre. He will be fine. Viper pushing forward on the hunt. Used. Hillisang forced to use the ultimate, but no effect. He's just going to get burned down. Upset on the side. Upset the last source of damage, but JJ's already landed the kick. He's going to go in. He's going to fish for it. Upset. Flashing out. Oh! JJ just outplays. He expects the flash. He anticipates. And now Viper can clean house. The end game for BDG. They're going to clean it up on Wonder. Pick up that last kill as well. And turn to Trey in the brush. They get the chunk onto Wonder. The ultimate separates all of Fnatic apart for a great opening. Holding not going to connect. They're pushing bot all the meanwhile, so they get the mid wave in and they can only play on one lane now. EDG, they have a couple creeps to work with. Wunder has the TP. This tier three is going to start to take a little bit of damage as JJ steps forwards. Flandre trying to cancel some bases. Will stop Humanoid in his tracks. Bot tier three will go down. Inhibitor soon to follow. Wunder's trying to get this top tower. I wonder if he'll commit the TP or is Fnatic just calling this off? Looks like. They're gonna back away. Fnatica made the call that there's no way we're gonna win the fight. And right now, just such a difficult game for Fnatic. Giving up the inhibitor on the bottom side, a constant point of pressure for the next five minutes. Oh, he wants it! One more ball! Determined. <laughs> he will at least get the tower back. And of course, the supers on the bottom. Source of wave clear. Upset cons really step up. A bit too short range, no flash. They will get the tier two mid. I don't think they can continue for the tier three by the wave crash. Dragon 11,000 HP. EDG going through bot. Not decided to go through mid. Flandre gonna dash over. Doesn't have the E. Could be a target for Fnatic, but Razorx focusing on the dragon. Azork focusing on JJ. The ultimate. He's gonna knock him back. They get the dragon as well. This could just be their fight. Scout has to run. Viper has to run. Lee Sin trying to come back. But already the poppy now taken out. Fnatic, they've gotten what they can, but they need to run. Double flash out to safety. They're on the retreat. Hostile takeover coming. JJ flashing over. Kicked back. Oh. Knocked over. But he kicks him into the blast cone. Hillisang still going to drop. EDG can turn their sights to the Baron. Support jungle down, and you're absolutely right. It looks like they might just go straight towards it. Scout has the team. Ornold didn't really connect on a single target. Maybe Wonder thought that he would go to the front line first because Viper still had that spell shield up, or he'd flash the ult and he would escape. He was maybe a bit greedy for more there, but there's the four item savior now picked up. So much left for Fnatic to hold on. EDG can pull the trigger to look for some kind of play with the Gragas ult. Yeah, they're making it so hard for Fnatic. I'm not sure if it's on cooldown, but it looks like. Humanoid just gonna back away, doesn't have it up just yet. Upset confident enough to dash forwards. Taking a lot of damage, the cask is big. The rest of Fnatic now retreating though. Alti cooldown down, down. Razor gonna use Flandre as a highway to make it back out. They're fishing for the knockup. Ornault now coming in, he's unstoppable. He's gonna throw it back, he's gonna knock up too. Viper knocked up on the backside. But the Yumi ult is big, the damage is big. Flandre not taken down yet. Razor getting shredded through. Humanoid still standing for now, but the Victor ult does so much damage. Upset now chasing, Upset looking for the reset. He needs a kill, he needs the gear, but he can't. He will not be bailed out. He will be shut down. EDG taking the fight. They stand 
strong and managed to ace Fnatic. I think that's going to be the game. 50 second death timers. Humanoid managed to kill Scout and JJ almost all by himself. But it's Viper, Viper, Viper who is untouched. And it's Viper who shuts Fnatic down. The game starts with Viper getting a double kill. And the game's going to end with Viper getting two Nexus turrets. Commanding in the early game. Transitions to some beautiful fights. Fnatic fought back where they could. But EDG from start to finish controlling this game. They will find the win. They will tie up the score. Both teams at two and one. There are fans of every region, every team spread throughout this theater. Cloud9 on the verge of a 0-3 first round Robin. But based on everything we were hoping to see. Start making these plays oh. on the bot side. Oh, Alcove Gamer, Alcove Gamer, Alcove Gamer! The two-man knockup! First blood! Secure advantage over Fudge. Two levels over Blabber. And that's three, four times I've seen Blabber show his face top. And it feels like he's saving Fudge's love. The proactivity of T1. It has been led by owner's jungle invades time and time again for 12 minutes. Tower first blood secured now at 14 minutes. By time to focus down the Lissandra, the Kaiser. Because don't forget how easy it is to start fights. And Fudge is going to get destroyed. His heart is broken. The second kill for T1, and it lands in the hands. Owner. And it just keeps going to show how well Owner is doing so yep. far in this matchup. He really has been the standout bringing T1 this victory. Now they're going to get another turret down. Gold lead yeah. extends even further. 5k in 15 minutes. I mean, it's it's all out of control now. They've got to find some sort of a pick. We'll see if they can find Zayus here. The recall just finished. The solo flare missed. The pin against the wall. Zayus is going to flash for safety and Berserker gets the kill. The LCS and Cloud9 get one, but maybe at the cost of one and a half or two times. Right. Yeah, it's at the cost of so much more. You know, you rotate your five members top to get a pick, but you're losing the mid tower. You're losing the bot tier two, or at least it's getting very, very low. Uh, and this tax, honestly, maybe looking forward for C9, especially when you are in a group with people like Zayus coming in. You're going to have to lean on some weak side top lane. You laner. need to slow down the pace of the oh, game. Stop Zayus letting again. them get ahead. A second teleport's being channeled. Fake is making his way in. Blabber and Spin about to arrive. So far, two for two. The Ring of Frost may cost Faker his life. He goes golden. Gumayushi is going to be backed up by Carrier. The Killer Instinct. That's one. That's two. Jensen Pop for a triple. Guma gets a quadra. And we see Guma popping off. Faker able. Nine off the map. C9 really pushing, trying to find a play in this idling. lane. They can feel this game slipping away from them. But T1 was... really do. Of course, Faker teleporting in for a brief moment. I thought he was in trouble. Sayo's about to solo Jensen. Emperor's divide by some time. Enough for Owner to arrive. No flash available. Sand Soldiers doing work. And Sayo's does not give a damn. I mean, it's it's just so incredible. You put to put that into context, you know, it's like almost three quarters of his game. Yes, again, a great job. And now, 20 minutes in, they're just starting the bear, and they want to get this one over with. Oh man, this is going so low. This is done. This is finished. They're gonna finally burst it out, and C9 never get a chance to engage. The solar flare was held. They're down nearly 10. They are down 10,000 gold. Fudge gets chunked just a little. Glacial Park goes in. Insta stun against the wall. Empress Divide as the Keepers burn it. Can Cloud9 win the fight? Berserker. Baron was secured. The stun doesn't land. Zayus escapes for now. The Buster Shot buys more time. Cloud9 are still alive, but not for long. Not enough. And they were smacked by T1 wallets. Look at the health bars from T1 dancing in and out of the fight so incredibly well. Berserker could never get the reset. The T1 team fighting just incredible. Nearly a 12,000 gold. Oh, 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 what? Goomba absolutely popping off. Killer instinct goes in. Q comes out. And Berserker just stood at no chance. What a phenomenal fight. I feel the players to turn it around and we're back to live and we're back to watching C9 die again. Now C9, I mean, just now really feels like nails kind of going into the coffin. Gold lead just too big. Oh, they're already I'm, buried. Yeah, I'm the buried. coffin is sealed up. Cloud nine, there. cloud nine, I can tell you one thing. T1 took EDG down in 22 minutes and 50 seconds. So you've lost it longer than EDG, but not by much. T1 is pushing into the base as the Glacial Path is followed up. The tomb is available, waiting for a target. 
T1 have got an inhibitor in the top lane, a turret in the middle lane, a turret in the bottom lane, a second inhibitor is falling, and this team looks unstoppable right now. T1 just winning everywhere across the map. The team play has been immaculate. They have all the super minions now barrened up, and C9 not gonna be able to prevent this push. No, they're not. The poppy copters charging in hell. A few more seconds are needed. A stun against the wall for Carrier, and he taxis by a bunch to the Nexus turret. Faker still has that ultimate available to him. Barum, empowered super minions pouring into the base. All three inhibitors secure the side. Might have been in the edge of this game, maybe. Yeah, I think T1 just about have this one wrapped up. C9 again trying to look for picks. It's all they really can do. We'll Let's see if they can get owner down. Let's find out. Not just yet. The watch is stopped. The timer is stopped. And Berserker still can't do it. He can't get owner. Wilma's turning his attention now towards Fen with the back of a faker. And owner's going to continue to chase forwards. Fen will get melted. Berserker's going to hop over the wall and get chased down by the killer. Instinct of Guma Yushi and now Oh, he wants the Penta! He's going for it. The Penta kill. Guma's chasing. He's hunting. Where's the missiles? That's a leap forward. Vision <laughs> is spotted. Blast cone over the wall. <laughs> Carrier, you monster! Carrier able to stop Fudge. They're still going for it. Guma. Ray. Look at the super moves <laughs> of the Nexus. Fudge is going to escape for now. The Winions. The Winions take down Cloud9. T1 able to show such in him. Stacked up, right? The counter engage can be so powerful from the cannon. If you can actually find that big Amumu ult, the cannon ult coming on top, the AoE from the victor, the counter engage potential there from CFO is extremely high. Very, very punishing. Yeah, yeah, you, you just fall way too far behind. But we also see on the opposite side of the map, CFO looks like they're getting a dragon. Maybe not uncontested as RNG's coming in. Oh, look at the engage! They've caught Xiaohu, but at what cost? Ming steps forward, Xiaohu's about to get dropped! First blood to Gemini! Wei and Gala stepping forward! White blue guns chipping down and burning the flying oysters! One, two, a third is on the way! RNG looking for the fourth! Bandage toss! From the stolen Amumu and Shun's forced to flash. RNG, they have the numbers. Just still oh, chasing Shun yes. down. Being able to secure the kill and even breathe. Oh, number two. Diego rests. Uh, flash is available to him. Slicing Maelstrom as well. Jumped on, caught out, and goodbye, buddy. Gets, but I think it is important to highlight is that it just drops there in favor of Breathe. That gold difference could be significantly higher without some of those plates secured. CS is as close as it can be in the middle of the top lane, but it's just a Felios that they need to be careful of. As Shahu takes a chunk, Chaos Storm is down! Tick, tick, Laser. tick, tick! Boom! Mission solo kill Shahu! Mission showing why he's oh, there! Oh! oh. Famalai stepping forward, Koala's got chunked out, mission's going low, no flash available to him! And Gala picks up the sick, the oh, pen what? against the wall! Gemini is going to be able to use the Keeper's Verdict, it misses, it whiffs! Gala sidesteps here, and also gets locked down, it's Gala who actually comes in clutch his way, Yeah, we can't watch mission. The, we can't watch the replay! Mission is getting caught out, pulled back, punched in the face! And it's Ming that secures the second of the game. Another rune setup, but CFO looking to challenge here at the Dragon. Yeah, I mean, they, they want to fight. Teleport's available. Oh, oh, it's not though. Oh, the engage. Ming is burning down low. The bomb will pop him. Rocket jump forward. The flying oysters. Screw the numbers are missing from the map. As I, I love that you highlight it, and then even more that the observers show it. Koala, however, steps forward a little bit into the darkness. Oh. Throws on curse of the sand, mummy, the showstopper! Into the gravity field! It does not matter! The damage is so incredibly high! Ming, are you kidding me? Slamming four members together, and RNG want even more. Rest coming here to defend, but RNG are crushing it on the back of their support. The coordination in that play was just absolutely perfect. Able to take a mid lane turn off of that rest. Oh, the Ray of Frost comes out, Shahu, one more shot. Won't have the damage. They aren't able to get him, but you look. You can see on the minimap, he's actually kind of posturing around topside. Looks like RNG potentially wanting to thread up towards top lane. With and RNG have ballooned the gold lead to nearly 3,000. Shuna's been able to pop down the second tower in favor earlier. 
got somewhat surprised. Outside of that, it has been RNG favored. So we're looking again more. We need to see Res get involved. He hasn't yeah, I'd like to see them set up a vision on one side, you know, and then try to push up on that side with multiple members, try to get a crash on a tier two. Is, is hanging on the side here. It yep. looks like he is looking for a potential angle to threaten them back. Oh. And I feel like CFO though might need to find an angle themselves because Breed's pushing in mid. How? How? Breed's pushing in mid right now, but with mission back, they weren't able to. Point. CFO has to pull the trigger. You know, they are built for 5v5. Kennen has not really been involved in any sort of team play yet this game, and Mission in trouble again. He's lost his flash. Oh. Gravity Field is dropped. Show who's arrived. Buster shot by his time, but Ming and the RNG Dynasty are not done. There's one back from Sean. Rest will get popped. That slicing Maelstrom cut through nothing. And this mid lane tier two is going to be gone. RNG looking incredible in this one. Giving not much room for that Kennen. Oh, Ming, maybe Ooh. looking for it again. Once against Koala, steps forward, look at that shield. Ming stays alive. Moonlight Vigil plus the damage from Breathe is enough to shut down Koala. Shao TP. Backpacking. There's the engage from Wade. Gravity Field manages to find a stun, but Gemini's forced to flash and run for his no. life. The flamethrower is burning. Shao Hu's Ring of Frost sets up one and Breathe runs down. And I, I don't even know if they'll be able to secure it. With Shun down there, they should be able to, and they will at least get a bounce. You have to. Have a laugh. Yeah, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And that's speaking from experience here, Trevor. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give Absolutely. you a Absolutely. Like. You know, I talk about it a lot with uh, waiting to lose versus actually playing yes. to win, right? And CFO are definitely here playing to win, trying, but it's not the uh, direction that he did choose, and RNG are pressing. Oh. And I even just love the way RNG are playing it out since Kennen hasn't been able to get involved, right? We see them kind of ping-ponging between waves, breathe, walks mid, pushes it in, walks spot, and just pulling the members of CFO around their base. Lyric, is this the RNG you were anticipating? They're pushing into the base. After the look and play-ins, there were some question marks. There were some flaming hot takes made. They took down RNG two days ago. They're on the verge of sopping uh, the, the flying oysters. And they've already broken into the middle and the bottom lane. Inhibitors are falling in RNG currently look unstoppable this game. Yeah, RNG, again, they've just looked so good coming into uh, groups. Um, ultimately, though, with two lanes of supers, a minute and 40 until that mountain uh -oh. soul, and now rest, rest. Don't get put to sleep, my friend. You've been jumped on by way of the glacial path into the ring of frost. That slicing maelstrom does not to stop Royal. And see presence would delay any further engage, but Ming's the man that started it all and oftentimes ended every skirmish. Showstopper's available to him. He's looking for a ride to go forward. Also watch Koala's Amumu on the right-hand side, sitting next to that Nexus turret. RNG, they're ushering the minions for the top wave is about to fall. And Brian has already knocked down the final inhibitor tower there. You know, they are moving up towards that last inhibitor. Shun is pushed out. Rocket jumps on cooldown. That's not available. Flash and cleanse is. He's Gonna step forward, that's the engage. Koala goes for Oh, Shun oh, curse the sad mummy, it doesn't matter. Shun, however, has taken down Ming. The Chaos Storm is burning. Here comes Rest. No mushroom available to him, but. Oh, Koala does what? What? Flash Gale Force into four, and the Flying Oysters are running for their lives. Koala with another massive play, and now Shaohu back in the fight to follow up. CFO are falling one by one. Koala grabs the win on the front foot as the engage ADC 4-0-12. Royal never give up. We'll take down the flying oysters. And listen to the fans in the crowd. That was an doubt. Once this last pick comes in, it's going to be the Jacks instead. Four games play, three of them with victories. <laughs> Lyric, I'm going to come to you first. Let's zoom out and talk about the compositions and how they want to win respectively. Yeah, I mean, th this whole game for both teams is going to be bot lane centric. Right? Peacemaker goes forward. The dredge line is dodged away from as Beryl uses stand behind me. And Jackie Love again is bullied out. Things look so rough, but Trevor, you're still not done. No, we're not. Way away. Will he survive? Counter strike stun, counter <laughs> chop. Now steps forward. Hop, skip, jump. King has about 200 stacks here on the Draven. So much additional gold waiting to be grabbed up. It looked like they were going to try to oh. play for themselves. Is both AD carries getting chunked up quite low, and Tien has ulti. I mean, those spinning axes. Go. There's the depth charge. The soul to stop the batteries. Got him to it. Now oh. depth stays alive. So many auto attacks are being blocked by the unbreakable wall, but finally.
Quickly, the flashes are committed. And now Piotrzyk is here, and Mark is in trouble. Zeka arrives, and he has the solo multi jack. He's gonna go down. Oh, look at that jack! He's caught out. DRX with the fight. Oh my God! I mean, that's Jackie Love losing over 150 stacks there, and Zeka looking for him once more. Everfrost does hit the slow. Barrel's coming over. Oh my word! Throw everything at Jackie Love. Deal of it. Unbelievable start. 12 minutes in, that Goldie continues to balloon. Zeka. Three kills, to... but Zekka's in bowling for it. Cease and desist has been hijacked. Teleport is being channeled. Pioshik's making his way forward. Does Zekka fancy a shot? No, Pioshik's turning. Jackie Love is going to be caught up with the help of Mark. Jackie's running for his life. Mark is caught in the river. He's down. DRX are... Finding a play through this, getting this kill on the tower for Knight, getting that solo gold into the Azir, it's just all eggs in the Knight basket, it feels like at this point. Level up, figure out the meta, figure out what their strengths are. It looks like it's doing a lot so far for DRX. DRX actually pulling out the blue buff, just stacking up on the blue buff, not actually taking it for himself away from Knight, um, but just leeching it back. But DRX actually were the ones to do a brunt of the damage. Lyric, you said it not five minutes ago. Faith for the upset, do they have faith? for Beryl to survive. Jackie Love is spinning them axes. He's getting that adrenaline. He sidestepped the pusher, but he's been jumped on. Cleanse and flash, and Jackie's running for his life. Zekka misses the chains, but he stole the whirling death. He goes golden, thanks to the Elgos, but the first kill is secured by Pioche. Hit the way when he's down. Tian is down. Top Esports are getting obliterated. They are crushing them. DRX lose no one in the fight again. Jackie will lose all of the stacks, and King in already in the top lane, pushing in. DRX will crack the base. Yeah, DRX potentially going to be able to get an inhibitor. Looks like they're thinking about maybe pivoting towards the Baron now. From the LCK, not a team that a lot of people had the faith in to be able to bring the level of consistency to take down someone. With the push they have from Baron, they're also able to put themselves on soul point, and things are looking doomed. The soul hope remaining here for top. He does have the death cap complete. He is incredibly strong, comparable with the strongest members on DRX. But the problem is, everyone on DRX is a threat. Zero, zero, zero for Knight. Jackie Love is melted. He waddled on the slow and was burst by the fourth seed Knight. from the LCK. piyoshik has got himself three already. Knight gets at least one back, but the tower falls. That's two more. The Quadra, the Ace, the Base. DRX have done it. Pioshik was so huge in this game, making sure Jackula's famous Draven couldn't take over. New York City, you will remember the day that DRX struck back against Top Esports.